Hey everybody, welcome back to Tanner's Books Beyond on day 7 of Vetus. That's right, we've actually reached the end of our first week of this little project, and also reached the end of our first book in William Shakespeare's The Phantom of Venice. Now I don't want to turn this into a 10 minute video giving all of my thoughts and feelings on this play, especially since I've already kind of done that in the past week or so, so instead I'm just going to summarize my thoughts. I liked Act 5, I thought it was just as strong as conclusion as I did the actual movie Phantom of Venice. I know some people weren't the hugest fans of Phantom of Menace, though you have to admit that Duel of the Faces is a pretty boss-ass song. Actually, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't make a reference to it, since the term Duel of Fates is a pretty Shakespearean thing when you think about it. It definitely fits with the tone. Act 5 has a lot of great stuff, including some really great lines from Padme, and also a Taken reference from Qui-Gon. It's also got the conclusion to the Jar Jar's pretending to be stupid joke, which doesn't get the best payoff, but at least it kind of makes sense. Because when you look back at his actions in the big droid battle at the end of Phantom Menace, it's kind of hard to believe that he managed to accomplish all that by accident. I think my biggest problem with the Jar Jar characterization in this is that I'm not sure how it's going to affect his characterization in the next play, because he's supposed to be this really smart guy fighting for freedom and stuff. How is he going to be able to justify putting Palpatine in power? That could be a really clever situation in Episode 2, or it could completely fall flat. If you'd like some more in-depth thoughts on the entire play, I'm going to post a link to my Goodreads review below, but all in all, I quite like this reinterpretation, and I'm going to give it four stars out of five. And of course, we've also got today's certain point of view story. This one is by John Jackson Miller, and it is called Rights. It's another Tuscan Raider story, and I think that might actually be the problem, because I didn't enjoy this one, just like how I didn't really enjoy Rayrin from a few days ago, and they're both about Tuscan Raiders, so maybe that's the issue? I don't know why it's like that. It's weird. It's not like I have anything against the Tuscan Raiders. I think they're pretty cool. And also, it's not like Wrights has the same weaknesses as Rayrin, because it doesn't. As I mentioned earlier, I wasn't keen on Rayrin just because I felt like it had a very weak ending. And as for Wrights, I'm not very keen on it because I feel like the character motivations are kind of iffy. And I'm also pretty sure this is going to be very subjective. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people out there who liked Wrights. But for me, something just didn't click. Now there is one thing that I appreciate about Wrights and it's that it helps make one of the goofier scenes in A New Hope a little less goofy and make a little more sense. See this is from the perspective of the group of Sand Raiders that are trying to kidnap Luke and the droids and then they get scared off by Obi-Wan. And this story heavily implies that he was able to scare them off by influencing them with the Force and making them feel fear like this weird cosmic dread, which makes a lot more sense than what we sort of see him doing which is just throwing his hoodie up and going even when I was watching the movie as a little kid, I thought that scene was kind of ridiculous, so thank you John Jackson Miller for clearing up that little oddity. So that concludes this day and this week of Vetus, but we're not even close to being finished. We still have like four and a uh, half weeks to go until the conclusion. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see every new video as it comes up. You can also check out my Instagram for daily updates, or you can check out my aforementioned Goodreads to see how I'm progressing through all of these novels. And until tomorrow, I'll see you all later.